Hi friends, today we are going to see how to add routes using Apache Camel in Spring Boot. project using spring initializer we just add the web dependency so starting the application initially just to make sure it is working fine yeah, it is working fine so now we are just adding the camel starter dependency so we just need to fetch the dependency so it is successful so now we are adding the package to hold the camel resource so just created a resource package now adding camel the resource it is nothing but just a component so before that we are extending the camel route builder class so the dependency is not properly fetched we just read, need to run the mvn clean idea idea to get the proper dependency yeah it is fine so we got the dependency so we need to implement configure method while using the route builder class. So we have overridden the method. So, so now we are going to add the first initial root Apache camel root. So here we are just adding timer as a trigger. So we just give a sample timer as the name for the timer and we give the period as uh, 6, 10 or uh, how much seconds we want so I am just giving like 10 seconds so now just adding a log over there just to make sure that we are inside the initial uh, route so we just giving a message like initialize the first time or initialize the first route so now here we are defining the other route so from the initial route we are directing to another route so i am just defining an another route that is as second route so what will happen is that from the first route it will move on to the after executing the first route it will move on to the second route so in the second route we are again mentioning as from as the second route so while the first route is executed while it meets the two condition so it will automatically flow to the from where the two condition is met so there i am just mentioning inside the second route and we are just giving an end to the route so it is ready two routes are ready so we can just run the application before running we need to uh, add the component annotation so if we if we don't add the component annotation spring contest can find this particular component particular resource so just running the application so the build is success now we're starting the application
Yeah, as you can see, we got two logs initialized the first root and inside second root. So the both routes are executed. So you can see again it is printed. It is like that it will uh, occur for a period of 10 seconds. So each 10 seconds it will be occurring. So now I have given a repeat count as one so that it will only occur for once. So you can use the repeat count to, if you want only once. So now what I'm going to do is that I'm just adding a delay. Uh, it's just similar to the thread dot sleep. So I am adding a delay of 20 seconds. So uh, after starting the after initializing the first route, it will wait for a 20 second and then it will only move to the second route. So we can check. Yeah, so here we can see 9, 6, 20. Uh, it printed the initialized first route. Now it is going on a sleep or it is just waiting for 20 seconds. Yeah, as you can see it is 9, 6, 40. So a 20 second delay is over there. So our condition worked fine. So this is how we add the delay between two routes or between any route. Thank you.